Generally, the arbitration of labor disputes and use of collective bargaining is encouraged in the United States as a matter of public policy. Consequently, in contracts with arbitration clauses, there's a presumption in favor of arbitrability. But what if a party files suit to compel arbitration? May the court decide the merits of the dispute when a collective bargaining agreement, or CBA, requires arbitration? The United States Supreme Court considered this question in United Steelworkers of America v. American Manufacturing Company. In the late 1950s, James Sparks worked as a plating tank operator for the American Manufacturing Company. As an employee, Sparks was covered by a CBA and represented by the United Steelworkers of America Union, or USW. The CBA had a grievance provision requiring all disputes over the meaning, interpretation, and application of the CBA's provisions be submitted to arbitration. In addition, the CBA had a no-strike provision whereby workers couldn't strike unless American refused to abide by an arbitrator's decision. Further, the CBA had a seniority provision, which stated that American would employ and promote employees based on seniority if ability and efficiency were equal. While working, Sparks injured his back. Following his injury, Sparks filed a workers' compensation claim and, after settling his claim on the basis of permanent partial disability, applied to return to work at his old job. Subsequently, American failed to respond to the application and USW filed a grievance on behalf of Sparks, demanding that American hire Sparks at his old job by virtue of the seniority provision in the CBA. In response, American claimed that Sparks' grievance wasn't arbitrable due to a state court order approving the settlement of his workers' compensation claim. USW then sued American in federal district court to compel arbitration. In response, American moved for summary judgment, which the court granted. Specifically, the court concluded that because Sparks accepted the workers' compensation settlement on the basis of permanent partial disability, he was stopped from claiming seniority or employment rights. USW appealed to the Sixth Circuit, which affirmed, holding that the grievance was a frivolous and patently baseless claim that wasn't subject to arbitration. The United States Supreme Court granted cert. 